Well, hello, sillies, and welcome back to the channel over here on YouTube. I'm Matt. Ashley. And today we are checking out a couple of you guys have requested that we check this out. This is uh, Marlon Wayne's stand up. I had a crush on Jada until. Until what? Until what? So, <laughs> I have no idea what this is about, but we'll, uh, we'll see what this is. Check it out. Jada Pinkett Smith, since I was 18, 19 years old. I met her backstage at a Living Color, my brother's TV show in the 90s. And um, I walked in his dressing room and I saw her. I saw Jada and I was immediately smitten. Like this woman was so smart, so knowledgeable, so multi-talented. She could sing, she could dance, she could rap, she could write poetry. You know how people say, I've lived five, six, seven times. She's been here five times, and she probably lived to the ripe age of 127 each time. <laughs> Jada Pinkett is Cleopatra. She is Joan of Arc. She is Helen Martin from 227. This woman. <laughs> and when I saw her, like, I seen that face, and I immediately was like, oh my God. This is the most beautiful little boy I ever seen. <laughs> no, oh, <laughs> she ain't got nobody. Y'all know oh. this woman. She ain't got nobody. She ain't got no titty. She got nipples, but she ain't got no titty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh he my God. He is going hard on Jada. Right. Like, when was this? I don't know, but uh, guys, let us know in the comments below. Uh, I got to figure this out. <laughs> this <is too> good. <laughs> you know what I mean? She ain't got no ass. She got a crack in a hole. We know she shit. But I don't know how she sit down. She must keep sliding till she hit uh -huh. the hook on her head. It's like, all right, right there. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. So, well, I want to know if this was mm -hmm. before or after the whole Chris Rock thing. Where you got, you know, yeah, yeah. And I immediately got a number. Me and Jada became like best friends. Like I moved out to California. She lived a couple of minutes from me. And I spent the night at her house. She was staying the night at my house. We just hang out like two innocent little kids. And this woman was so smart. She used to teach me about love. She had power words and descriptions of love. When she was 19, she was telling me shit like, love is acceptance. Love is unconditional. Love has no expectations because then you will be disappointed. Love involves devastation. Love is forgiving, and real love is healing. Do you know how hard my little 19-year-old dick was hearing these big problems? <laughs> <laughs> but I never told Jada I had a crush on her. I never did. I just, I was always like, you know, I used to play her little songs with like little, little hints in them. I remember one time I played her Stevie Wonders, Too Shy to Say. And then she played me back in Vogue's Never Gonna Get It. <laughs> we just became oh, best boy. friends, man. And I hung out with her so much. She used to, we used to write poetry and we share the poetry. Her shit was so like, she had similes and metaphors and shit that public school didn't teach you. I was like, and me, my shit was basic. I was like, I think you pretty. Can I suck your titty? <laughs> I know it's itty bitty. <laughs> but that would be litty. <laughs> I was like, it was funny, like, like we hung out so much, she felt so comfortable with me, like, I became like her gay friend, you know what I mean? Uh, yes. <laughs> like the gay best friend. I don't trust gay friends to pretty girls. Y'all niggas ain't gay. You are undercover straight, you lying motherfuckers. You lying. Cause I played that part, I was like, bitch, let me see y'all clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, gangster. Your clitter is gangster. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> gangster. <laughs> Girl, can you teach me how to suck dick on my dick? Come in. <laughs> oh, is that how you do it? Oh my god. Oh, my get off god. me. Oh, that's nasty, bitch. <laughs> I love me some Jada, man. He is having fun telling yes, this story. Yes, yes. That is, that is too, too great. I did one day, Jada called me up. 
And she said, Marlon, come through, nigga. We about to take this relationship to a whole nother level. And in my head, I was like, oh my God, Jada's gonna fuck me. <laughs> I drove over that house so fast. I... She goes, Marlon, I wanna introduce you to someone special. I was like, oh, she's gonna fuck me with a friend. <laughs> I said, where's she at, where's she at? Right here. And I look on the couch, and who's sitting there but the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, I was so mad, I was hating. Cause Will has always been a grown ass man. This, I don't think this nigga ever went through puberty. He was born <laughs> with a chest and a mustache, this nigga. <laughs> He's literally been a handsome man like me. I, it, I just went through puberty probably two years ago. <laughs> he was sitting there just right. looking like fucking the Prince Charming. And he was sitting there and he was laughing. You know that, you know Will, that phony ass laugh. You know, you know. <laughs> and Jada, she just laughing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I wish, I wish. We're going to have to find the unedited version of this. Yeah. And watch this. This is too good. Oh, this is too good. Benki, ki, 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 with her little frog legs, just all dancing all over his lap. And he would laugh and they would kiss back, back. <laughs> and he would tongue her down and then give me that mean ass Will Smith smirk down. <laughs> 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 That nigga knew what he was doing. He knew what he was yeah, doing. I had a crush on her. And that motherfucker knew. And I remember leaving that house that day heartbroken. And I learned that love is learning to let go. Because I'm going to be 100% honest with you. What they had, their connection, that's some shit you see in the movies. Like in those romantic comedies where you go, oh, yeah. That man was her prince. And I couldn't compete with that. They had this connection, man. Their spirits was dancing. And they would go on to get married this, and this to somewhere. be an example for all mm -hmm. us black people. You know, we all look to those couples. That shit's important for us as a race to be able to go those couples that stick it through no matter what. You know what I mean? Not just on TV shows, but in real fucking life. The Barack and the Michelles, the Jay-Z, Beyonce. You know what I mean? The Will and Jada, that shit means something to us. And I, I, I gotta respect that. She would help him amount a fortune of damn near a couple of hundred million dollars. They made these two beautiful children. I don't know what planet them niggas is from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, you know what I mean? They are special. Them little, I don't know what gender they are, like them gender neutral, race unspecific. I don't know if they're Puerto Rican, black. I don't know if the boy's the girl and the girl's the boy. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All I know is that they don't speak like normal people. They are brilliant, brilliant beyond their years. These niggas was born in the Matrix or the Metaverse. <laughs> uh, the Metaverse. Now, I... I'm gonna watch a little bit more. Obviously, we gotta hear what he's gonna say, but that was the biggest comment about the boondocks. And remember how people were saying, like, just because I can articulate a sentence doesn't mean, like, I'm educated or, like, you shouldn't, like, look at me like, like white people would look at, at a black person and be like, oh, wow, they speak so well. Yeah. Like, okay, that's a simple ass observation, but, like, just because I can articulate a word, but this is exactly what he's saying. It's so. It, it's it's weird, but it, we'll see. What it These are not children; they are avatars. <laughs> they are avatars. <laughs> but those little kids are special, and I know why. Because their mama's special, their dad is special, and I had to honor that. And for years, I, I'd be hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm 50 years old now. <laughs> Single, still ain't found my queen. And I sit there and I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, maybe, maybe that was the one that got away. And I asked God, I'm like, God, show me a sign that that woman wasn't for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Then on March 27, 2022, approximately 
10.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 7.32 Pacific, God <laughs> showed me that that wasn't the woman for me. Because my woman, if I'm worth a couple of hundred million dollars, my woman ain't gonna let me do no dumb shit like that. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like, mm -mm, nigga, don't you fuck this money up. No, no. Don't you fuck this money up. Nigga, no. we got a lake in our backyard. I'm not about to swim in a public pool. Sit your ass down. <laughs> oh, my dude. queen gonna grab my oh. leg like, please don't fuck this money up. Please, please. No, I don't want it. Please stop it. Please, listen, please. I don't like coke. Please, please don't fuck this money up. I like Chanel. I know I can now the channel, but nigga, don't you fuck this money up. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh man. my gosh. Because ladies, there's a point where you gotta stop your man from doing dumb shit. <laughs> that man's worked 50 some odd years of his life for that moment. Do you know what an Oscar award is to a black actor? In 94 years of the Academy Awards, there have only been four black men, four black men to ever win best actor. And Denzel won that shit twice. So really three niggas. <laughs> <laughs> So in that moment, sis, I need you to grab your man's hand and go, mm-mm, baby, mm-mm. Don't you do this for me. Don't you. This is your moment, not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. But Thursday, we whooping that little skinny nigga's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened to Will. It looked like he was enjoying the joke. Right? right. He went right. Okay. the right. joke. Will was laughing, that phony ass. Okay, yeah. so this is uh, very recent then. He's talking about when Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris I, Rock. I know so, that. Yeah. At the beginning uh, of the thing, we didn't know when this was. Right, right. So now we do. Well, now we do, obviously, yeah. But, the, <laughs> of course, I, we knew that when he was saying, Duh. He, well, when he was saying, uh, I knew when she wasn't my woman. And then he said, uh, November 27th, that he started naming the date, that time, the Eastern Standard Time, and then he went like to the other side of the country. Right. He was pinpointing it to that moment. That was when I knew it was. It was obviously. <laughs> don't don't mess this money up. <laughs> and then Tina rolled her eyes and put her hand like you nigga, and he went, "Yeah, that shit ain't funny." <laughs> it, it did look. It looked I think like he put a spell it. on that nigga. That, yeah. She had a men in black voodoo doll underneath her chair. Men in black. Because that motherfucker out of nowhere, he just changed his whole shit up. So he we did. saw her roll her eyes up in her head, but that ain't what she did. She put a spell on him. She went. <laughs> <laughs> and the ghost of Tupac Shakur. Oh no. Will Smith's body. Nigga, <laughs> worse son. Will's walk. That, nigga, that was Tupac walk, nigga. I know that duck leg walk, nigga. I know that fun. That duck leg walk, that's, I work with Tupac. That is Birdie from above the rim. Nick got out the range. That is Bishop from Juice, nigga. I know that duck leg walk. Look at me, even the way he was screaming from his seat, all ignorant and shit. Yes, yeah. Like Tupac on one of his disc records. Keep my wife's name out your motherfucking <laughs> mind. Right, right. <laughs> right? Yes. He, he was screaming like that. That was so nuts because, like, you know, when 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 Chris Rock was telling the joke, yeah, like, like, like he said, he really thought. I thought that he was laughing, and I, then all of a sudden, he like he said. He changed in a, in a second. In a second. And then just bitch slapped him. It's like, yeah, like walked up there and... I'm and like, Chris is like, what the fuck yeah, just happened? he took it. He took it, yeah. He took it like man. This this was really freaking funny. So thank you guys for, for telling us to, to check this out. Um, let us know in the comments below what special this is from. Because I, I just want to know to look more into this. So thank you guys as always. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, well, goodbye. Bye.